In the world of DCS, I would probably say helicopters have become more and more popular as time goes on. And in my eyes, they're probably actually one of the, my favorite aircrafts to actually fly, mainly because of what you're able to achieve with them. Sure, they might not be the fastest things on the planet, but just to be able to take out ground targets, as well as even taking out air targets with some of these weapons, and then to be able to maneuver around in difficult cramped spaces like in the canyons, which makes it very difficult for enemy jet aircrafts to see you. And then there's things like troop transportation. And that's probably one of the biggest things I look for, especially when playing on Enigma's Cold War server, where you drop off specific troops in certain locations to do probably the most damage in the most efficient way. Today's video, I'm going to be flying the Mi-8 HIP, which just so happens to be the aircraft that is able to carry the most troops on this server, which is 14 to be exact. I ended up actually loading only a total of 12 troops, having an extra two slots where I could have added a recon squad to fill in for max capacity. But when I jumped on the server, I noticed that someone was actually, you know, doing their job by PTFO and was able to pretty much mark all the enemy targets in the front lines. So whoever did that, props to you. Also, by not having a full helicopter makes it a little bit easier to fly because you're obviously not as heavy. I'm going to be showing you what this helicopter and basically what other troop transport helicopters are capable of doing. Drop off troops, have them go do their job by taking out some ground targets, and then I, after they're done with their mission, I'll go and pick them up and, you know, basically rinse and repeat. But during this video, there'll be some surprises here and there. I'm not going to spoil them now. You're just going to have to watch the video to see for yourself. So sit back, relax, and as always, enjoy. Voltage and the those okay. All right, we're pretty much set. Guns are set. All right, cool. Oh, turn off my APU. I don't need that on anymore. Right, let's get going. Oh, of course, I always forget to turn on the autopilot. Or the auto stabilizer, whatever the exact term of that is. Makes it a lot easier, a lot smoother to actually fly this aircraft. So, basically, have to head pretty much where all that smoke is, actually. Northwest. Just try our best to keep our eyes open. As soon as I say that, I see something out in the distance over here, right by these red lights. And I don't know if that's friendly or foe. It'd be kind of funny if we're going to start off by taking out a enemy helicopter. It's definitely a helicopter. I don't know what kind of helicopter, though. It's really far out there. So I got my 12.7 millimeter cannons ready on the gun pods here, so that'll definitely rip them a new one. It's right on the other side of these trees somewhere. I couldn't really quite make out what it was, it's, whether it was a gazelle or a Huey. Kind of want to actually slow down now. Oh, there's the, yeah, okay. I got the dust coming up from his uh, propeller just make out his tail just a, on the right of my crosshair. I think it's a Huey. Oh, I'm in a terrible position because of that tree in the way. Little lag. Alright, let's see if we can take him out. What? Oh, my guns aren't working. Oh, because I didn't pick some gun. Alright, got him. I'm uh, lagging like a son of a gun, sadly, because of the 2.9 update, because now I noticed that the update has me having more lag issues. But he did drop his troops off. Let's see if we can take care of them. Let's actually see if I can have my gunner free fire. Yeah, he's down. Alright, sweet. Splash one Huey. Door gunner? Anything? Door gunner, anything? Nothing? Maybe I can take him out. Ooh, I don't really have much practice with this thing. Come on. Oh. Doesn't really hold much ammo. Is 
This is when a gun pod would be really useful. Or not a gun pod, I'm sorry, a uh, rocket pod. Alright, you know what? We're switching back. That door gunner's gotta take care of these guys. There he goes. There's one. He took out one. Two, three, four. There we go. Oh, don't stall, don't stall. I think we're good. I think we took care of them all. Nice. Alright, great job, door gunner. Alright, we're gonna just have him back to return fire. Ooh. What's that? Oh, that's a figgin. There's a lot of enemy fighters in the general area. I do not like that in the slightest. This is a problem because now I'm out in the open. To get to the front lines, I'm going to be well exposed. And here he comes. I don't know if he sees me or not. I don't think he does. No, he does not see me. All right, I'm going to just try my best to get as close as I can to this front tree line here. F5 is like right behind me, I think. I don't know if they see me, though. Just got to get low. I hear him. Oh, my God, there he is. This is friendly troops right here. Like right on the other side of the city is actually, if I can get in the city and drop my troops off there, I'd be in a good position. It's like right on the other side of these trees here. Okay, there they are. Yeah, I see ground units there. All right, I'll slow down. Ooh, that's enemy units right there. I don't know if they're alive or not, but I just gotta get. Get used to trees is good cover. Am I actually in? No, I have to be on the other side, like in the middle or on the other side of the city. All right, right here, this little strip right here. It'd be great if you could do like a tactical like drop off, like a really fast drop off, but this aircraft, the generators could go bad, or there's just so many issues with this aircraft that it, you have to really take your time landing it. All right, cool. Landed. Let's see if we can drop our troops off. Drop troops. Standard troops. Okay, good. Now, the thing is, is I have to now take off and get away, because because of this dust, like the Huey, with that dust kicking up, it's an easy target for people to see. And I just want to make sure I get away from my friendlies. Because if they take me out, my ground troops can actually still do some business. So, put up the kill feed up to let me know what we get, actually. It's the only downside, though. Once you leave, the troops start moving. And they can move in a position where the enemy ground vehicles could take them out. So, hopefully they don't move too far. At the same time, I don't want to move too far either, because I actually want to make sure that I can... I just have the cover. If they do their business... If they, Oh, did I just... Oh, I think my troopers are dead. I think my troops are dead. Alright. Well, for now, I guess what we'll do is we'll just RTB, try to get pick up more troops. And see what we could do. See, damn. If they only, if they were only able to get some things, then I could have a break in the line. If I took out some ground units, and it'd be much better for me to like start attacking, be more effective. I just need that break right in the line. All right, coming into land here. right here. Let's 
Is that a broken radio tower? That is a broken radio tower. <laughs> that threw me off just seeing that, actually, what that looked like. It's like, what the hell is that? All right, that was actually a pretty good landing right there. All right, cool. So uh, I think now what we're actually going to do is we're going to change up our loadout here. So I'm going to have 60% fuel. You could go 40. This thing is very good on fuel. It's very fuel efficient. Uh, I'll still have a door gunner. Um, so yeah, we're going to do some rocket pods. We're going to have 20 millimeter cannons here. 23 millimeter cannons, actually. So we got some more of heavier firepower. Maybe we could do something about that. Request refueling. Rearming. All right, cool. So while they're doing that, I'm just going to reload some uh, load some troops. We'll do the same thing, standard troops. So, yeah, here's our rocket pods right here. And then in the middle there is our 20 millimeter, 23 millimeter cannons. They are pretty much a beast. Okay. Let's get rid of that as well. All right, cool. So we got troops. We're loaded up. Let's take off. Seriously, this... this grass like the wind effect is an, such an awesome feature all right I'm gonna actually try to go a little bit further down over here without hitting any of the trees just trying to spot Ooh. trying to do this while trying to reach my control my joystick but at the same time control mouse and keyboard so I can look at the map while flying in a danger zone because that's normal so there's enemies right there all right we're just gonna drop our troops off right here then hopefully it's not too far I can always look at the f10 map real quick A little rough on that landing, just a little bit, not too bad. All right. Others, troops, drop troops, standard troops. Let's look and see how far they are away from me. So it's kilometers. I think it's four kilometers. All right, we're just. We'll take care of these guys. Um. Yeah, I think that might be it. We might take care of this guy here. I think this is, yeah, sandbox area. So you might get, yeah, we might just get this general area right here taken care of. But then at least if I take care of these guys and I pick up my troops, I could bring them over here. They'll have better cover from people from the north and the northeast. So are our troops out? Troops are out. Sweet. Ooh, what is that? It's a friendly. I don't know what aircraft that is. I take off. I should take off. I should, like, get away from my troops. Maybe I can take some pop shots with the rocket pod. Alright, rocket pods are selected, actually. Let's see how well we do. I could try to loft them. So I got some ground units up here. So let's see what we could get. Go oh, wait right. A lot of those are going to be right. Yeah. Well, that first splash, actually, you know, it's surrounding it. That's actually pretty good. That was a pretty damn good loft. I kind of just, like, guessed on that. Not enough to take anything out, but, you know, at least be a distraction. Got some troops. Got about five troops, it looks like. Yeah, there they all go. That's all them. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can find our uh, friendlies and pick them up. Just gotta take your time. You can't really try to rush this. If you rush it, you'll just slam into the ground. And if you're out, you can't even drop your troops. A little rough on that landing. Am I close enough? There we go. Close enough. Got it. I see them right there. They do look like they're actually dead. Oh. Maybe those troops. Alright. 
Let's drop them off in the city here. Don't hit the telephone pole. Don't hit the telephone pole. Just take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Ooh. Okay, that was a little rough. I'm getting too anxious. Alright, let's see what we got out of that. Uh, I've only got two ground troops? What? But all the marks are gone. Oh, uh, you know what? I think there's a slight bug. There's a slight bug where... Um, the... Oh, what's going on here? My trim is all messed up. Uh, there's a slight bug where all of the marks on the map that show where enemies are, they might be already dead. And then I guess what I just did was basically just, you know, confirm it. So once my ground units took care of the, the marks, they, they got rid of them. So really there was only two ground units that needed to get taken care of. I got my troops right up here. I can pick him up in a hover this time. Yep, got him. Oh, but as soon as you pick him up when you're doing a hover, you get the weight. And you gotta kind of immediately react to that, countering the uh, extra weight added onto your aircraft. Alright, let's go more inland, more northwest bound. This is pretty much it, actually, right here. Reasonably close right off to my right. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Take it easy, take it easy. Ooh, that was him. Alright, we gotta drop off our troops real fast here. Alright. Others oh, troops drop that. Alright, ground troops are down. Take off. This time I'm taking off. I don't want, you know, the enemy, that F F5, to see me shoot me and take out my uh, troops as well. I'd rather him take me out so my troops could do their thing. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anyone in home. What a shame. Kind of funny if I could actually rearm and refuel here. Oh, take some fire. And we took out some ground troops. Three. I should be like, that'd be kind of funny if that tower that just shot at me actually just got taken out. Let's see. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, that's definitely... Is that a helicopter shooting at me? That is! Got some hits off him. More hits off of him. Where'd he go? I think he just went underneath me again. Oh. I get hit by that tower. Oh, I think I just took him out. There you go. Splash one gazelle. Woo. All right. Took out some ground troops and then I <laughs> took out a gazelle. Let's go. Wow. That... That was pretty neat, actually. I think he only had the 7.62. He only had one gun pod. Great little things to shoot, but man, they just do not have the power. Clearly, I had the power with the 23 mils. All right, let's pick up our troops here. Poof. Let's see what else we can get. units right here in front of me. That's 
got to be them. Which is four kilometers. Right there. I'm in the range right now, so I'm going to just basically... I don't like putting them out in the open like this, but I really don't have any other alternative. Let's use these uh, oil towers, or radio towers? Radio towers, I guess they are. Let's cover as well when we drop our troops off. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Alright, that was good and easy, good. Alright, troops, let's drop you guys off and we'll get out of here. There we go, we got some troops. There we go. Alright, let's quickly go pick them up. Let's go pick them up and then uh, see what else we can get, hopefully, before they get shot down. Do we hear the rumbling of an aircraft nearby? Alright, come on guys, get in. Anytime now. Good. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of this open field. Alright, so we clearly took care of those guys I spotted earlier. Who else? to map real quick here. Get rid of that. Alright, so this next village here. I need to look at the range. These guys. So if I drop these guys in this little little town right here, I should be good to get all those ground units just south of it. I do have some hill here, so... Oh, there's... There are the ground units, and they are firing at me, it looked like. I can just drop them right here. I think that hillside is good enough cover for them. That's actually a decent landing. Uh, oh, there's troops dropped this. Who's this? Oh, friendly hip, okay. I wonder if he dropped his troops off. Oh, somebody definitely took care of some ground units. But I think we're okay where we're at. I think uh, he might have dropped them off further uh, at a different location. Or maybe not. I don't know. The marks are gone. Darn it. Oh, they're, they're the units right here. Okay, so he dropped off. He dropped off his units before me, so he technically had, uh, he was able to actually get the points. It's okay. No big deal. Troops awaiting exfil. Yeah, okay. So I didn't get anything because he cleared out the spot before me. I can pick up his troops, though, actually. Since they're here, I'll just pick them up. These actually might be mine because I, I think I dropped mine much closer to the town. Just don't know where to go from here now. What is the campaign? Wow, 3 7 is 0. Okay, well, there you go. We pretty much took care of the front lines here. Uh, the other two areas are on a different, completely different area. Um, oh, and as soon as I say that, an F5 comes up and sneaks up behind me. Uh, well, there you go, guys. All right, well, this is one hell of a way to go out. save this. I'm going in. Oh, can I save it? No, no, I think I blacked out. Can I escape? I can! I escaped! <laughs> I landed, I crash landed, and I was able to escape. To eject safely. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the, the uh, MI-8 hip. Definitely check it out, as this guy just tries to finish me off, but he's not going to get the kill. I thought he was honestly going to hit the ground there. All right, well, I guess, I, I, all right, I'll just give him that because, man, I, I did a lot of damage. I, you know, I did a lot more damage than he's going to do. Peace out.